All right, it's time to start work on the next side skin, which is a really long skin that goes down the side of the fuselage here. And uh, there's a bunch of cutouts here that are used for the baggage compartment. And also we're gonna use it to get to the smoke tank. And so we're gonna do this thing where we're going to set it up, get the skin in place and try something really unique. We're gonna work with this company Fabco that uh, we uh, do a lot of work with on uh, our STCs that we do with Beach craft and see if they can use their laser cutter to actually cut out these openings on this large sheet of aluminum for us, which is really interesting because what that will do if we're successful is actually give us both the door and the opening at the same time. And the same program that allows us to do that can quickly cut out the doubler, which will span that distance. So normally when you have to hand cut a hole in aluminum, especially a large one for a door, it's a painstaking process. And when you do it, you generally are uh, working first on the opening, and then you have to take a completely different sheet of aluminum and manufacture a door to match the opening because you've kind of taken out too much material. You've kind of destroyed what you've taken out as part of the process. So this laser idea that we have of being able to do this using their machine could really be revolutionary in how we're able to approach the skins and openings on our T51 Mustang. So it is an experiment. Let's uh, size up the skin, put it in place, and mark where these are going to be, and then go to Fabco and see if we can actually get this done. All right, so we now have what's known as the B, C, D, and E side skins going from the firewall all the way back to the beginning of the tail. And so, uh, boy, that was a lot of work. Yeah, it was really fun though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of drilling, a lot of fitting, um, and a lot of measuring. And so we now have it. It's amazing what, uh, how strong it is, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's crazy. 
and, and we've made this transition from a curved front to flat sides as it gets closer to the back. And uh, so now what we have to do is duplicate this, everything we've done here on the right side of the aircraft over on the left side of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And uh, we cut the skin, so I think what we're gonna try to do is use this as a template. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different in the front because there's no baggage compartment uh, door on this side, but if we're able to, to fit it and do some tests to see if it all lines up, then we should be able to just use this and, and template right through. Mm -hmm. Now we did the whole thing with what's known as number 40 uh, drill holes uh, because this gives us some time to go in and out and, and put thing, mount things and then bring them back without enlarging the holes. The final hole size is gonna be 1 8th, mm -hmm. which is uh, basically a number 30, and then uh, that's when the gluing and the riveting will happen. But we're gonna hold off on that because there's so much more work to do on the inside that uh, this just gets it all fit, and then we have the holes that we can use for the other skins, mm -hmm. which will really start to show this take shape. We're gonna do top of the cowling. Yep, right here. Yep, and so what's your favorite part that you wanna to get to? Um, so I think there's actually two things. It's going to be the skirt that goes around the um, cockpit. Right. And then it's also going to be the windshield because once you sit in there, then you feel enclosed. It's going to feel like what it's actually going to feel like to fly it. So Absolutely. It if we can imagine this with the, the, the nose covered and then the windshield in place and then the, the back of that, oh, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. It's going to look a lot like a Mustang at that point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so after about six to seven hours of work today and some work yesterday as well, the two side skins on the left side of the plane are pretty much all fitted. We drilled them and clicked them together. Then the only next step before we glue and rivet is going to be cutting out the access panels. That includes the um, baggage door in the front as well as the access panels in the back that lets us get to the interns of the plane after everything is riveted together. So uh, that's it for this build. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, get the Social Flight mobile app and socialflight.com where we have uh, tens of thousands of events and destinations to fly. On top of this, we have Social Flight Live at socialflightlive.com where we are supporting pilots during the time of crisis and having a, tons of great events. Um, it's going to be at 8 o'clock Eastern time every Tuesday, so stay tuned to that. Until next time, blue skies.